on everybody check it out we're back again with another lesson i'm going to show you how to enhance the major scale that you already know how to play but everybody passes right by it like that's the only thing that you can do just play at one position and then you're done you're not done you're going to be using a major scale the rest of your life if you keep playing let's go well the most common way to play this major scale is second position or any scale doesn't matter you can do a flat g whatever scale you choose to play whatever key you want to play it in that seems to be the position of choice or first position where you're playing one three four same thing next string one three four one three now this can be for beginners this can be for intermediate players this can be for an advanced player uh it doesn't matter you may not have played it this way before or you may not have thought about playing it th this way before but you can play the scale in thirds we've talked about this numerous times so but you can stay there in that position and be stuck in that position but you don't really want to be stuck in that so you can do it a different way use that same position or the other position to do the same exact exercise so scale in thirds you're skipping strings you're playing the third from that you're playing the second note then the third from that okay you get the idea I don't want to spend too much time on it hopefully you guys already know the scale in thirds if you don't go check out that tutorial very, very detailed and showing you how to play this major scale in thirds. So scale in thirds, let's take that same concept. Now let's play the other position. Just taking the same exact shape and playing that same concept. It's more of a challenge because you have to stretch your hands a little bit more. But now let's take it a step further. Let's play four notes on one string and let's play the same exact exercise. Okay, so now, like, we're doing three notes per string here, so... So three, three, three. So three notes, three notes, three notes. Get the idea? But now we're going to be playing four notes on a string, the same exact concept. I'm going to show you first, and then we're going to go through it. So we have... But you guys get the idea. So four notes on each string. Da, 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 da. You can play it. You can start it anywhere. I would start it. It doesn't matter. You can start it in G. So maybe you can go ahead and uh, keep trailing up this exercise and uh, make it a little bit longer and extending it just a little bit longer. So same thing in the key of G. Here we go. Same thing. So now you notice the shift that I'm doing, okay? So now it takes a little bit more brain power. Now we have to figure out the rest of the fretboard. Now, I told you this was going somewhere. So we're figuring out the rest of the fretboard while playing the same exact exercise that we learned how to play ages ago, depending on how long you started playing. So four notes on each string, same concept. We just got to figure our way around it. So if we're playing in the key of G or A, doesn't matter. I'm playing on the same fret. So we have one, skip that to the B, A, the C okay so that's the first line so what I'm doing is one four one four for this entire exercise one four one four for the whole thing so it just makes it a little bit easier to understand and not get tripped up with fingering okay on the way back down is a little bit different but let me show you on the way up so let's do it again now you go back to the B now the next string, because you're done with that first string of four notes, one, two, three, four. So you utilize all of those, the G, the A, the B, and the C. Now you're going to the next one. It might be beneficial for you to know the scale, just playing it up linear, linearly, is that a word? Playing it up the scale, ascending, uh, just for you to know it without any of the exercises. So just playing the... <laughs> so it just helps for you to know that already so you don't have to fish around for notes so that's just taking the uh, two octave scale and just flipping it and playing an exercise with it this is just getting you comfortable with knowing the fretboard playing the fretboard instead of playing so ending right there you can play play all the way up there in this part of the fretboard 
And now you're getting comfortable with playing in this upper register, with so, which so many people fail to do or uh, just have a fear to do because they don't know, just because of the unknown. But anyway, just this a simple exercise. Da, 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 da. All the way up, nothing different. No, the notes aren't different, but the pattern and the shape is a little bit different. So I always tell you guys we have to rely uh, on our patterns or we have an advantage because we play bass. The bass consists of patterns, nothing but patterns all day. But you have several different patterns for one thing. And that's also crucial and beneficial to know that you can play one thing several different ways, right? Or See what I mean? So I ended up all the way here on the side of the fretboard instead of just playing in the safe zone here. Okay, simple exercise. I'll have this written out for you guys. Four notes on each string. I'll play it through one more time so you guys can see. Okay, now another thing uh, as far as the finger numbers. The only finger that I'm switching is the third. So I'm one, four, one, four, one, four, three, one. So I'm using, utilizing my third finger when it comes time to, uh, but the other ones I'm just using one, four. So a little bit slower, one more time. Three. Here we go. Next string. Only when I'm skipping the strings or when I'm going to the next string. One. Back to the four. Now I'm utilizing my three. One, four. One, four. Three. Next string. Four. So hopefully that will help you guys just stretch your vocabulary that much further. It's it's beneficial in several areas. You're stretching out your hand, you're, you're playing those whole steps and skipping those whole steps. So it's actually stretching out your hand, getting a little bit more sturdy, a little bit more strength to your uh, fretting hand. Also at the same time, helping you understand the fretboard just a little bit better. Uh, so hopefully that helped guys, that helps. Uh, I'll have this written out for you, obviously. Uh, so you can practice along all, all your keys you wanna do this and you can do this F. So all the way from here to here in the thirds exercise. And you can just kind of, you know, move, move it around. I always tell you guys, you know, move it around in fourths. That's B flat. Now you can do E flat. Missed a note there. There you go. Then you have A flat. You can move it around like that. Make sure you know some coming out. Clean, clear, and precise. Take it slow. If you have any questions, you guys know what to do, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.